All right, before I continue, I want to show you something. Um, this is an example. Uh, this example shows you a cross comparison of the next thing I'm going to show you, which is Blender. Okay. The head on the left is done in Blender. The head on the right is done with Maya. Now, here's the difference. Um, there could be a problem with my layout here in Maya or uh, the time needed to put the layout into effect or the way I unwrapped it. There's a thousand different things that could be wrong with this. But I'm going to show you that these numbers right here, if you look at them, they're smaller in this area, leaving this area more detailed than the face. Okay. In the Blender example, the numbers aren't as small, and they're a little bit more uniformed. So I'm going to get more detail here, but also it's not so much that it's going to be noticeable next to this one. So you can see this area right here has huge lack of detail. Uh, again, if it's a 2048 map, that doesn't matter. But if you're making a character, not with a head, but just with armor, the complete works, then you have to really worry about this because you will not be able to fit the UV shell here. In most cases, in that you would have to fit it up into the quadrant like up here and if you have let's say pants or shirts or whatever else that goes on the character that's when you have to worry because then you're running out of UV space and you're gonna have to go like multiple texture multiple object which you know something you want to kind of stay away from somewhat so here also in the back with the blender model uh, you can see that here, huge lack of detail. Here, let's compare it, Maya to Blender, Maya to Blender. Okay, now again, I could have probably took the time to unwrap it just like this in Maya, but it's more of a time constraint, okay? So now, being that you see the cross comparison of the two, and see that you know the blender is obviously better as far as the UV layout. Let's look at time, okay? So what would really hit it home is the fact that how, how long did it take to do this in Blender compared to how long it took in Maya, and what steps were involved in Blender compared to what steps were done in Maya, okay? So that is in the next video.